guys, welcome to another video and in this video we are going to look at Resurrection Remix based on Android 8.1 for the Zenfone Pro M1 and recently we started working on this device, there are a lot of ROMs that are already available, there is a new ROM that has come up today, I'm going to review that or probably install and preview that in one of the next videos, but for now in today's video it's going to be an install and preview of Resurrection Remix for the Zenfone Pro M1. We will quickly go through the installation process at the same time we will go ahead and have a first look at this particular ROM and we will see how good is it and can it work as your daily driver or not and the full review for this ROM should be coming later as well. Now before we do that if you've not already please subscribe because we do awesome stuff with smartphones and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. At the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390 go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Zenfone Max Pro M1 and in today's video we are going to Yes, of course, as you saw in the intro, we're going to install Resurrection Remix, which is based on Android 8.1 Oreo for this wonderful device. And before we do that, let me tell you, I was on Pixel Experience for the previous video. And yes, this device is my daily driver. So few things to take care of before we actually begin the process of install and preview. You need to make sure you have sufficient battery, at least, you know, 30 or 40 percent so that your phone doesn't stop working while it is low on battery while you're trying to flash. And that could create some serious problems. Apart from that, make sure all your data is backed up because I for one prefer to have a very very clean install that means I will be wiping internal storage and everything apart from the micro SD card and as this device has a dedicated SD slot it is recommended that you copy all the ROMs and zips that you want to flash in the SD card so for now what we're gonna do is of course we're gonna first go ahead and power this baby off and then using the volume down and the power key, we are going to go to recovery. So once again, that's power and volume down, press and hold till the time you see the logo. All right, now make sure you are on a decrypted system. If you want to know what a decrypted system is, well, here's a link to my previous video about the Pixel Experience ROM, just go ahead and check that out. Meanwhile, we are on TWRP, the latest version 3.2.3. The first thing that we're gonna do is wipe Advanced wipe will wipe Dalvik cache system vendor data internal storage. That's all. We won't be wiping micro SD, of course, because that is where our ROM files are. And once the wipe is done, we'll go back to the home screen of TWRP, install up a level, select the external SD, scroll all the way to the bottom, and there we have it. Resurrection Remix 6.1.0, dated 8th of September 2018. So it is a very, very recent build that we have so we'll select this file and then we'll select add more zips and of course we'll select open g apps so swipe to confirm flash so both the zips will be flashed and this flash will take anywhere between five to seven minutes not more than that and then the first boot will take another two to five minutes. Now, while the flash happens, let me give you a little bit of background when it comes to Resurrection Remix. Now, personally, a favorite for me across multiple devices, if you're not new to this channel, you would know that, that I have had a lot of OnePlus devices and I especially love the phones which have development. And this ROM here, well, this ROM has had my attention since day one because the amount of customization and fan following this ROM has is just amazing. And once this particular ROM is ported to a device, well, in most cases, it works really, really well. So yeah, I will be reviewing this ROM and let me know in the comment section if there is anything else apart from ROM reviews and install videos like this that you want to see for the Zenfone Pro M1. Now I have given the Google camera a try and I will be trying Google camera on this ROM as well. But for now, we're going to install it. We'll quickly have a first look at it. And I read in the comment section there is slow charging and a couple of other small, small bugs. Now slow charging may be, maybe, just maybe a deal breaker for a lot of you. But for me, well, as this boy carries 5,000 milliamp hours of battery, what I do is I charge it overnight using my Xiaomi power bank and then I'm done for the day. But yes, in case you want to charge it quickly, yes it could be a deal breaker for you because when you talk about slow charging these roms can take up to six hours to charge your zenfone pro m1 so if charging is your thing then might as well stay on stock for now 
Let's wait for the flash to complete. All right, so it looks like the ROM has been flashed. So we'll go to the home screen of TWRP, reboot system and do not install. Now the first boot will take anywhere between two to five minutes. But what excites me when it comes to Resurrection Remix is the wonderful boot animation. And I think I've seen the latest one. Let's see how good it is. There you have it. The beautiful Resurrection Remix logo and the new boot animation with bouncing dots looks just awesome. So let's wait up for the first boot to happen and then we will, you know, quickly run through the setup and let's have a look at this ROM. All right, looks like we are on the home screen right now. So let's quickly skip through the setup part. All right, so we are on the home screen of Resurrection Remix and till now what you saw was the quick install process. But let's quickly also have a look at this particular ROM. And if you have a look, Resurrection Remix, yes, of course, audio effects, camera. Let's quickly have a look at the camera. Of course, it won't be as great as the stock camera, but uh, let's at least make sure it works just fine. Yes, it works absolutely fine. So the quality and all, well, maybe we will cover that in the full review and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a full review of Resurrection Remix for the Zenfone Pro M1. But for now, if you have a look, this is a very, very minimalistic ROM. You know, they're like literally very few apps which you can count there are basic apps like the play store and stuff and if you go to settings we can finish the setup never because we're not going to stay on this one what interests me first of all let's quickly go to system here about phone and as you can see there's your oreo easter egg so this is based on android 8.1.0 oreo and the security patch is 5th August and vendor security patch level is 1st August. So probably the latest. We are in September, so that's fair enough. Now, next up, let's go to configurations. And that is where all the magic for Resurrection Remix happens. Now, endless number of videos is what I've made on this particular ROM. And I have been through the most interesting customization. Now, somewhere I read on XDA developers that you don't really have ambient display and it doesn't really make sense to have always on display on a lcd panel like like the zenfone pro m1 but if you have a look that is the reason i like this particular rom so much and from the first impressions well i can say is it's very very smooth it's just as good as pure aosp gets and you also have a ton of customizations so you know not to take away cues from the full review that is going to come up but yes this is the rom you can use it as your daily driver voice over lt is working most of the things are working as i said earlier slow charging is the biggest bug and there might be a few bugs here and there that is what you get with a custom rom but for now guys this was a quick install and preview of resurrection remix for the zenfone pro m1 and the full review should be coming up in a week's time or so that's when the full reviews for this device on custom rom would start so as i mentioned earlier if there is anything that you want to see related to this phone comment in the comment section i will have it for the next couple of weeks before the 60 comes out and then that will be my daily driver until then this is kailash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smart Take care. Goodbye.